Amphibians are resource intensive and versatile transport that can operate both on land and in water. These vehicles are super exciting and will be the future of the world. Stay back and hold on as we're going to cover the most insane amphibious vehicles of the future in this video. Hyperlite Eros Hyperlite Eros is a futuristic vision of the next generation of autonomous amphibious vehicles. This automobile incorporates next generation technology to get its passengers to their destination no matter what. Featuring drone, helicopter and submarine technology, it is sure to take passengers to the next level of seamless travel experience. Soaring above the clouds or gliding magically beneath the waves, Hyperlite Eros is not a traditional mode of transportation, mainly due to its amphibious nature. It is a three-seater air-sea vehicle powered by a two-stage Rolls-Royce hybrid electric jet at the stern. Designed by Lee Rosario, the Eros also characterizes a front-stabilizing fan blade housing. Lift is provided by front rotors and a sophisticated set of computer-controlled buoys located at the top and the bottom of the fuselage. The boost comes from the rear jet exhaust powered by a Rolls-Royce electric motor. There is a perforated grill that works as a stabilizer and regulates water intake during diving work. Hyperlite Eros does not have to operate in deep water, it can also move in shallow water. The cabin is completely hermetically sealed and completely watertight. You can travel from the continuous flight and then continue to float a little underwater, the transition will be great. While this futuristic vehicle is essentially windowless, it uses a high-tech environmental tracking system to project the outside environment onto the cabin via a curved high-definition digital plasma screen. It's a suitable mode of transportation for commercial or military rescue operations. Isn't that exciting? ACV the Marine Corps is studying an amphibious combat vehicle variant for future reconnaissance battalions with an equipment package that includes drones and communication systems and has asked automobile makers to study how this can be achieved. The ARV, which is meant to replace light armored vehicles designed in the early 1980s, has been studied and researched for several years while the Marine Corps is emerging as part of its Force Design 2030 plan, Light Steel. ACV transfers marines from ships to and from shore. This boat was used in Operation Front Base Expedition, a concept in which marines operate in close quarters with an opponent. BAE Systems has two ACV variants in full production, one for personnel and the other for command and control. The defense company is also making two other variants, one for rescue and repair operations, and the other with a 30mm gun. It's gonna be worth waiting. Japan is building AAV, Japan is building an amphibious AAV demonstrator, which is expected to be completed by October 2022. Jane's learned at the 2022 International Armored Vehicles Conference, held January 24 to 27 in London. The new vehicle is intended to replace the AAV 7A1, which equips the Japanese Army Self-Defense Forces Amphibious Force. The Japanese Ministry of Defense's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency shows future AAV models at the 2019 Defense and Security Equipment Japan International Defense Exhibition in China. The 1 is to 8 scale version has since been used to model the aircraft's buoyancy in conditions up to 3C conditions. Future AAVs will be powered by a specially developed compact 3000 horsepower engine, which, combined with a water jet at the rear of the vehicle, will allow it to tackle coral reefs and steep terrain with a forward angle of up to 70 degrees. Jordan Barnes's proposal for a semi-amphibious bus that quickly turns into an emergency transport is the first of 10 visionary transportation projects selected as finalists in the Desine Future Mobility Competition sponsored by Arrival. Nicknamed the Estuary Hopper, the Barnes concept is a semi-amphibious vehicle whose main function is to provide public transport for the city of Gloucestershire, England. The town is surrounded by rural farmland and the Severn River, which continuously overflows, causing tsunamis in the whole country. Should an emergency arise, the automobile is designed to be changed quickly and easily to allow mobility across the Gloucestershire floodplain. It has an amphibious chassis that responds to changes in water levels and large, durable tires to ensure traction on wet ground. The interior is modular with elements that can be removed and replaced to make room for necessary equipment and storage such as a stretcher or a wheelchair. The estuary hopper roof is equipped with rails with lifeboat fasteners for easy access to stranded or vulnerable people. External pontoons can be attached to vehicle bearings to provide space for loading equipment or personnel. Do tell us what features you would like to see in the future in amphibious vehicles. So that's all for today. Comment your thoughts in the section below. Hope you liked the video and see you next time.